Hello again. You ready for another story? Tonight we have one of my all-time favourites. This is The Sneetches by Dr Zeus. And my mum read it to me when I was little, and I read it to my children when they were little. And now I'd like to read it to you. It's a very strange story. The Sneetches. Now, the star belly sneeches had bellies with stars. See here? And the plain belly sneeches had none upon theirs. He hasn't got a star. Those stars weren't so big. They were really so small, you might think such a thing wouldn't matter at all. But because they had stars, all the star belly sneeches would brag. Uh, we are the best kind of sneech on the beaches. With their snoots in the air, they'd sniff and they'd snort. We'll have nothing to do with the plain belly sort. And whenever they met some, when they were out walking, they'd hike right on past without even talking. When the star belly children went out to play ball, could a plain belly get in the game? Not at all. You could only play if your bellies had stars, and the plain belly children had none upon theirs. When the star belly sneeches had frankfurter roasts, or picnics, or parties, or marshmallow toasts, they never invited the plain belly sneeches. They left them out cold in the dark of the beaches. They kept them away, never let them come near, and that's how they treated them year after year. Aww. Then, one day, it seems, while the plain belly sneeches were moping and doping alone on the beaches, just sitting there, wishing their bellies had stars, a stranger zipped up, in the strangest of cars. My friends, he announced in a voice clear and keen, my name is Sylvester McMonkey McBean, and I've heard of your troubles, I've heard you're unhappy, but I can fix that. I'm the fix-it-up chappy. I've come here to help you. I have what you need. My prices are low, and I work at great speed, and my work is 100% guaranteed. Then quickly, Sylvester McMonkey McBean put together a very peculiar machine. And he said, you want stars like the Starbelly Sneech? My friends, you can have them for three dollars each. Just pay me your money and hop right aboard. So they clambered inside. Then the big machine roared and it clonked and it bonked and it jerked and it burked and it bopped them about. But the thing really worked. When the plain belly Sneeches popped out, they had stars. They actually did. They had stars upon theirs. Then they yelled at the ones who had stars at the start. We're exactly like you. You can't tell us apart. We're all just the same now, you snooty old smarties. And now we can go to your Frankfurter parties. Good grief, groaned the ones who had stars at the first. We are still the best snitches, and they are the worst. But now, how in the world will we know, they all frowned, if which kind is what, or the other way round? Then up came McBean with a very sly wink, and he said, Things are not quite so bad as you think, so you don't know who's who, that's perfectly true, but come with me, friends, do you know what I'll do? I'll make you again the best sneeches on beaches. And all it will cost you is ten dollars eaches. What's he going to do? Belly stars are no longer in style, said McBean. What you need is a trip through my star off machine. This wondrous contraption will take off your stars. So you won't look like sneeches who have them on theirs. And that handy machine, working very precisely, removed all the stars from their tummies quite nicely. 
See, they go in with a star, and they've come out. No star. Then, with snoots in the air, they paraded about, and they opened their beaks, and they let out a shout. We know who is who. Now, there isn't a doubt. The best kind of sneetches are sneetches without. Then, of course, those with stars got frightfully mad. To be wearing a star now was frightfully bad. Then, of course, old Sylvester McMonkey McBean invited them into his star off machine. There he is. And then, of course, from then on, as you can probably guess, things really got into a horrible mess. All the rest of that day on those wild screaming beaches, the fix-it-up chappy kept fixing up sneetches, off again, on again, in again, out again, through the machines they raced round and about again, changing their stars every minute or two. They kept paying money, they kept running through, until neither the plane nor the star bellies knew whether this one was that one, or that one was this one, or which one was what one, or what one was who. And then, when every last cent of their money was spent, the fix-it-up chappy packed up, and he went. Look, who's got all the money? And he laughed as he drove in his car at the beach. They never will learn. No, you can't teach a sneech. But McBean was quite wrong. I'm quite happy to say that the sneeches got really quite smart on that day. The day they decided that sneeches are sneeches and no kind of sneech is the best on the beaches. That day, all the sneeches forgot about stars and whether they had one or not upon theirs. Look, star, no star, star, no star, but they're all friends. Did you enjoy that? I hope so. See you next time.